When I was a kid, it seemed quite possible that the United States of America would put it all together. For one thing, we started with a level of economic equality that's unimaginable today. CEOs didn't make 300 times what a typical worker made. Organized labor was strong, representing a much larger share of the labor force. And it was just assumed that rich people should pay high taxes. And we were making progress on other issues. We passed the Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act. But then, in the 70s, we suffered a series of economic shocks, and then, Ronald Reagan won the election in 1980. Instead of war on poverty, Ronald Reagan declared war on the poor. And he succeeded. And for the past 35 years, that ideology has dominated the United States. But there's something that's important to remember. Nobody thought Reagan could win, but he did win. Partly because people thought that Reagan believed what he was saying. And the American voter is interesting. They'll forgive a lot if they think you believe what you're saying. And that is largely what's powering Bernie Sanders today. People know that Bernie Sanders believes what he says and says what he believes. <laughs> the difference is that what Bernie Sanders is saying is true and most of the American people agree with it. So, can Bernie Sanders win? Of course he can. <laughs> If Ronald Reagan could come out of deep right field to tear America apart, Bernie Sanders could come out of left field to rebuild America. And we can restore the right to organize. We can restore a fair tax system. We can do what it takes to confront climate disruption. And we can resume the long march towards true racial and gender equality.